Hi and welcome to my uh, devlog number 20. It's been a while and this is going to be another quick demo of what we've finished so far, game devving Mahika. And we'll show you number one, the new inventory panel. Number two, the gem container inside the inventory panel. And number three, a small tweak we did to our magic activation. So let's get right to it. Let's start with the inventory. So right now, the inventory can be accessed by pressing the letter I. Let me press that now. And cool. A nice uh, sliding up animation. <laughs> it's not yet the fancy looking inventory, but it gets the job done. So we divided the current inventory panel into three sections. Uh, the hot bar at the top. The item container at the bottom left uh, corner or you know side uh, the gem container at the bottom right and hopefully you can actually see the difference in color the gem container is um, lighter in color so you already know how the hot bar works so I'll be moving on to the new gem container but first let me just remove this if you actually watched our previous demo I did mention that this bottom right panel is our gem panel but after a few brainstorming sessions we decided that this will be our magic panel so once you pick up the gem uh, let me just open up this chest so do we have gems awesome oh, look at that let me pick it up pick up this gem let me open up the inventory so you can see how it's being picked up awesome cool so once you pick up the gem it will actually go into our gem container and if you don't have any uh, equipped gem in the magic panel it will auto equip the gem that it actually picked up and it will equip the first um, uh, magic that it has so in the world of Maika, we actually wanted to emphasize the use of gems and gems will provide us our magic abilities now magic can be offensive magic defensive magic helper magic buff debuffs you know even imbue magic to our equipments possibilities are endless but all these magic will be made available through gems so this is how we want our magic system to work and this is how uh, we came about you know this current uh, inventory layout so gem container here magic panel here awesome so let me just uh, pick up all these items and whoop -de -doo. let me open this so you can actually see how the gem panel is being populated awesome oh now if you noticed um we actually replaced the f functions keys here in the magic panel so they are now a different set of keys right now the control is the default key to switch between gems and as you notice if uh, the item is equipped you know here in our hotbar you can see that that one is equipped here uh, in our gem the red gem is equipped so it will actually show a pulsing animation so if we want to switch between the gems I just click on control let me just click control 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 so you can see that the animation changes and also the uh, equipped gem also changes and the magic also that is equipped changes cool and we also uh, made the hotkeys for the magic a little bit closer to our movement keys our movement keys is default wasad or wasd so we actually moved the uh, activation of magic closer to it uh, Q will be our first tier magic R will be our second tier magic and E will be our ultimate magic um, still thinking about what kind of ultimate magic we can use but or create so we'll do that in the coming uh, weeks or so uh, and yeah that's how the magic is done now let's move on to our last update which is a tweak to our magic activation so let me show you and activate one uh, fire so you already know how the cooldown works based on our previous vlogs and what we found that when we switch when we actually switch between gems the cooldown actually resets which is not a good thing so we we made sure that when you're actually cooling down your magic, 
and you actually switch your gems, your cooldown still is active because that's important to actually, you know, have some playing real world scenarios when you're actually using an equipment and you're you're uh, activating it and you drop it or you tuck it in, it's still going to be activated anyway. Same with, you know, magic and gems. So when you actu activate your magic and you switch between them, it should show that it's still being cooled, it's still cooling down, it's still activated. So yeah, that's one of the important things that we actually felt that needed to be fixed. And we're pretty happy with what we have so far right now. So yeah, that's it for now. We definitely have more in inventory stuff to work on. And we'll show you our progress on our next blog update. So please help us improve our game by continuing to send us your feedback and adding your comments below. Thank you again for watching. See you all on our next vlog.